Eric H. Erickson 1902-1994. Birthplace and his significant family and childhood experiences. Eric Hamburger Erickson was born Eric Solomonsen on June 15, 1902, near Frankfurt, Germany. Carla Abrahamson, his mother, was a rich Jewish family in Copenhagen, Denmark. She married Valdemar Solomonsen, but he left Europe the day after their marriage and fled to North America. She never saw him again and appears to have no further interaction with her. She moved to a suburb of Frankfurt, Germany and raised Erickson on her own. Soon after Erickson's birth, they learned that Valdemar Salomonsen had died, leaving Erickson's mother a widow. Erickson's mother took him to a local doctor, Tudor Homburger, when he grew unwell around the age of three. Carla Abrahamson and Tudor Homburger, who was a physician, fell in love, married, and Homburger raised Erickson as if he were his own son. His interest in identity grew as a result of his own school experiences. He was mocked at his Jewish temple school for being a tall, blue-eyed, blondie, Nordic-looking lad who stuck out from the crowd. Also, because of his Jewish background, he was excluded from elementary school. These early experiences ignited his curiosity in development of identity. He would later remark that as a child, he was often unsure of who he was and how he would fit in in the society. Relevant Educational Background Erickson attended a primary school for four years before moving on to a regular gymnasium. He majored in Latin and Greek, as well as German literature, ancient history, and art. He wasn't a great student, but he excelled in history and art. Erickson pursued formal training as an artist and was widely regarded as gifted. So, instead of going to college, he spent a year traveling around Europe, observing people, and making acquaintances with artists who were on the same journey. Erickson became interested in psychoanalysis after meeting Anna Freud while working in Vienna. At the Vienna Psychoanalytic Institute, he examined child development using the Montessori method, which Erickson received a diploma from the institute but never a formal degree. Instead, he learned through his own experiences and diligent reading. Erickson immigrated to the United States in 1933 and although having no formal education, he was granted a position as a professor at Harvard Medical School. Important Contribution in Theoretical Concepts of Personality Erickson was a neo-Freudian psychologist who embraced many of Freudian theories core premises while adding his own thoughts and opinions. His psychosocial development concept is based on what is known as the epigenetic principle which states that everyone goes through eight stages. People experience an identity crisis at each psychosocial stage that must be effectively addressed in order to acquire the central or essential psychological quality. His concept differed from Freud's psychosexual theory in that it considers the effects of social experience throughout one's life rather than only during childhood. Here are the eight key stages he described that contributed to the understanding of personality as it developed in shape over the course of lifespan. Trust versus mistrust. This stage focuses on establishing confidence in caregivers and outside the world. Children who get appropriate care might acquire hope as a psychological trait. Autonomy versus shame and doubt. This period involves developing a sense of independence and personal control. People can build will and determination if they succeed at this level. Initiative versus guilt. Children begin to explore their environment and exert more influence over their decisions. Children can acquire a feeling of purpose by successfully completing this stage. Industry versus inferiority. In this stage, children are dedicated to the development of the sense of personal pride and success. At this stage of growth, success contributes to a sense of competence. Identity versus confusion. The adolescent years are a time of personal discovery. Those that are successful in establishing a healthy identity create a sense of fidelity. Those who do not successfully finish this stage may get confused about their role and place in life. Intimacy versus isolation. The early adulthood period is important on developing good interpersonal interactions. The capacity to build devoted, long-lasting, and caring connections with people is a result of success. Generativity versus stagnation. People grow interested with contributing to society and making their imprint on the world. Two essential activities that contribute to success at this period are raising a family and having a career. Integrity versus despair. This is the final stage of psychological growth, of course, which entails looking back on one's life. Those who look back with satisfaction acquire a feeling of integrity and wisdom, but those who have regrets may suffer bitterness and despair. Erickson advanced the discipline of psychodynamic theory by emphasizing that the ego is more than just a channel for the idea to fulfill its desires, as Freud believed, but also a significant psychological structure itself. 
We can conclude that while Freud's idea of psychosexual development largely terminates at early adulthood, Erickson's theory characterized development from birth to death.